I have a 1,500 square foot garden and I have a problem with root, not nematodes. Is there something I can treat with? And this is Alvin from Otiwa, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Booker, what do you think about that? It has root, not nematode problems. In the soil, and the really right. thing that you probably get is the other thing you can buy to put in the soil, try to get rid of it, like a nematide or something, try to control okay. that in there, and it's, depending on how bad you have in there. And a lot of things, if I got a lot of nematode in that soil and, and not too bad, I might try to remove that soil out of there and put some new soil in there, some fresh soil if I can, and then uh, that's what I would try to do in there, see what space that I have okay. in there, try to move that out of there. I see what's side here, but I try to get those nematodes out of there because they're real get in the roots of your plant and cause the nutrients right, cause those little knots to get on there. Those and that means that slow the nutrient down from getting to your plant and everything. So that's what they do in there. Good. Well, I, I wonder if he uses all the 1,500 hmm? square feet. Good question. Hmm. I have, uh, my uh, the garden is 100 feet by 30 feet. So it's close to that same size. But I don't use all of it. I only use half of it in a year's time hmm. or sometimes a third of it. And so I change and rotate where I plant yep. every year. Okay. And that will help keep the, because when there's nothing for the nematodes to eat on, they won't, they won't stay there anymore. Right. They'll die in the ground. Right. Uh, so just rotate your crops or just don't plant something in that area and just use a smaller portion of the garden. Yeah, crop mm -hmm. rotation is very important. It's something I would definitely recommend mm -hmm. culturally. Something else that I recommend culturally is this, adding more organic matter to the area because yeah, in that organic matter, you may get some beneficial mm -hmm. nematodes. Sure. Right, that will yeah. maybe you know, kind of ward off you know those uh, bat nematodes, those root knot nematodes that are in there. And then something else too that I always like to talk about: resistant varieties. So yeah. if you look at some of your labels, uh, it'll have an mm -hmm. N on the label, mm -hmm. and if it has an N there, it means it's that plant mm -hmm. is resistant mm -hmm. to root knot mm -hmm. nematodes, mm -hmm. right? So I mean, I yeah. would investigate, you know, look at some of those uh, resistant varieties and plant those, yeah. you know, in my garden. Yeah, and then, yeah. like I said, it, but then I would let some of the garden rest yeah, for a few rest, years. Yeah. And so to, just to try to reduce the population of sure. the root rot, not nematodes in there, because if they don't have anything to eat, they won't live. Yeah, yeah. they won't be there. Yeah, then I might say, so they like to do, said, do that and try to cover that area with some, with some kind of plastic and get it real hot in there. And that might help some. Solarization. Solarization. Right. Get that summer. Solarization would help. Mm -hmm. And try to kill some sure. of that out of there. You so can do that, that in the summertime. In the summertime, yeah. 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 That area that I'm not working with. So right. make sure you put some bricks on and hold them down and then get a real hop on in there. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that is and another option. Yeah, so yes. we, yeah, a bunch of good options here Yeah. Uh, that were mentioned. But yeah, just uh, yeah, choose uh, you know a combination of some of those options and that should do it. But yeah, those resistant varieties is something I would definitely you know, look into uh, as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. We would love to get more questions from you. So be sure to leave us some comments.